Hi, in this video training of Node.js, we will be learning about Node.js uploading files. This involves a module called Formidable module. There is a very good module working for file uploads called Formidable. The Formidable module can be downloaded and installed using npm. You can simply install it by executing the command npm install formidable. After you have downloaded the formidable module, you can include the module in your application. So let's create a project directory, node file uploads, set the permissions for this directory, loads, okay. File uploads and I'm going to install the formidable module. Okay, it's installed and now we can proceed further. Okay, upload. Now you are ready to make a web page in Node.js that lets the user upload files to your computer. Let's create an upload form. First of all, let's create a Node.js file that writes an HTML form with an upload field. This code will produce an HTML form. Let's create this file. Let's require the HTTP module and we are going to create a server, HTTP server, request, response and it listens on port 8080. Response dot right head 200 status and content type is text forward slash html then we are going to create a html form form action equals file upload method equals post and encryption type equals multi part form data this is necessary when you are uploading file through an html form otherwise your file object won't be recognized by the server when you upload the file input type equals file name file to upload okay let's add a break here response dot write and then you can say input type equals submit close the meter let's close the form tag here and let's end the response here okay, that's it for the node upload form dot js now let's look at step two parsing the uploaded file let's include the formidable module to be able to parse the uploaded file once it reaches the server when the file is uploaded and parsed it gets placed on a temporary folder on your computer the file will be uploaded and placed on temporary folder so let's look at this program we have already created the else part 
this part we have already done. So what we need to do is we need to code the if part here which will handle the file upload request. So if request dot URL equals file upload we can do the following else we will show the form to the user like this okay okay let's create a form here and new for middable dot in coming form before that we need to require the formidable module that we have installed when we started this course this training formidable okay, okay. now we can say form dot parse request function error fields and file response dot write file uploaded and end the response okay that's it Let's look at the step three. When a file is successfully uploaded to the server, it is placed on a temporary folder. The path to this directory can be found in the files object, passed as the third argument in the parse methods callback function. To move the file to the folder of your choice, use the file system module and rename the file. Let's include the file system module and move the file to the current folder. So I'm going to create a file system object by requiring the file system module here and here how we will use it. Form.parse, okay, it is files, fields, files, okay variable old path equal files dot file to upload dot path variable new path equals okay this is the path of the folder where we will, will be uploading the newly upload file so this is the path just going to copy this and paste it here and we are going to concat the file to upload dot name okay and then we say fs dot rename old path to new path and function error if error throw error otherwise response dot write file uploaded and moved response dot end now we don't need these two lines 
Okay, let's save the file and let's run it in the browser at port 8080. First, we need to start our node server. So, node node upload form.js. Okay, we have a typo here, a syntax error. Let's fix this first. It's a li at line 8. It's right here somewhere. Form dot parse require function Okay, the typo is fixed now. It was a syntax error. I fixed it and now let's run the server. So if I open the browser and go to localhost colon 8080, I will see this form. So let's choose a file. I'm going to choose a file here. It's called Gucci bag dot jpeg. And I'm going to submit it. I have submitted it. I got an error. Okay, let's try again. Gbag or jpeg submitted. Okay, file move uploaded and moved. Now let's close the server and see if the file is there. You see the file has been uploaded and moved to this server. Let's upload another file. Okay. I am going to upload Gucci shoes. Submit it. Uploaded in. See, it is also has been uploaded in the project folder. So this is how file uploading works in Node.js. I hope that you have understood the concept of formidable module and how it helps in uploading files using Node.js server. So this is the training and course about uploading file using node.js if you like this course don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time with a new topic in node.js the code of this project is available on the github repository and the link is also included in the video description you can get it from there as well